वेलकम बैक टू दाना एपिसोड ऑफ थॉट ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड इनिशिएटिव द थॉट्स ऑन एजुकेशन बाय कॉलेज दुनिया थॉट्स ऑन द एजुकेशन इनिशिएटिव इज टू एनरिच द यूजर्स एक्सपीरियंस एट कॉलेज दुनिया डॉट कॉम एंड ट्राई टू ब्रिज अ लॉन्ग ड्यू गैप बिटवीन द विजन ऑफ द मैनेजमेंट एंड द स्टूडेंट्स सो टूडे वी हैव विद मिस डॉक्टर्स श्वेता मेहता मैम फ्रॉम सी एम डी आर कॉलेज Sangli she work as a assistant professor in charge director of CMDR college so very good afternoon ma'am good afternoon uh, so ma'am before starting the interview can you just give your brief uh, introduction of yourself yeah sure uh, first of all i'd like to thank big vijay for calling me here on this platform uh, my brief introduction would be that i have done my mba in finance and marketing as a specialization in 1996 and since then i am in the field of academics i have taken up this uh, sector by choice and not by chance i always tell my students it is uh, very uh, enriching to be with young minds you always remain young when you are with young minds and i love my profession Uh, I have done my PhD into entrepreneurship uh, among farmers, so agriculture also remains a subject very close to my heart. Along with that, I promote students for uh, startups and self-employment activities. Uh, and my subjects that I deal with are mainly related with marketing and finance. So this is my brief introduction. I have some eight years of industrial experience as well. After that, I joined academics, and I am here since two twenty two thousand. So it is almost twenty two years of uh, experience into a bit CM gear. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your brief introduction. Uh, so should we start the uh, start with the interview, ma'am? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so, ma'am, my first question to you is that. Uh, You have a held key position at the education institutes throughout your professional career. So, what are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sector? As I said, teaching was my passion initially. So, I had joined this uh, profession purely to teach, and later on, we realized that teaching, along with teaching, you also require some academic backup. and uh, since those activities are closely linked with students development that has always kept me interested in it we organize various activities keep uh, students on their toes and see to it that since we are into management education we understand that uh, teaching this uh, uh, profession is not just talk and chop you require certain uh, innovative approach in developing students and especially it becomes challenging when you uh, are from an institute that belongs to a very regional mopsail area wherein we have limited exposure to uh, industries industries around uh, uh, our place are mainly small and medium scale units uh, we don't have exposure to large scale uh, industries so that gives us uh, that is a major uh, challenge i would say that we cover through various activities we uh, try to connect students with uh, industries uh, and uh, practical uh, uh, orientation is given through various activities so that has kept me uh, in, as uh, interested with all administrative and academic uh, activities and past i think uh, from to, since 2019 till almost even till date we are we had uh, various challenges that right, due to covid and online education system so that really uh, it gave a, it was a big challenge to address to move up the requirements of students through online education right ma'am right great ma'am great great uh, so ma'am my next question to you is that being a professor of the college what is your philosophy of leadership how would you describe your leadership style my understanding about leadership is to uh, keep the followers involved in your work they should see the same vision as the leader is seeing 
and what I call it as is shared values. So until and unless the team for which you are leading, they see the same uh, vision as the leader, it is not possible for the leader to lead. So first of all, uh, it is a duty of the leader to um, ensure that the team members share the similar values or you can say share the similar goals or superordinate goals. So their goals needs to be connected with the goal of the institution or the organization for which they are working. Once I feel that they connect themselves with the uh, larger goals, leadership becomes much more easier. So it has to be always participative. I believe that management by objective, management by exception, these are some of the tools that are we, th we teach our students. And I always feel that implementing those tools as a leader uh, pays off. Right, ma'am. Right. Great, ma'am. Great. Uh, so, ma'am, next question to you is that being the professor of a college, how do you strategize about the key programs and the plans for the marketing and administration of your college? Uh, one thing is, uh, our institute is one of the oldest institute under Shivaji University and it belongs to Deccan Education Society, uh, which itself has a um, very great legacy in field of education. And our institute has never gone for any shortcuts or uh, what we would say marketing gimmicks that are at times followed by uh, some new mushroomed colleges. We believe that there is always survival of the fittest. And, uh, for that, when you say marketing strategy, it is usually in connection with the competitors. So we always consider we have a niche altogether carved differently. And uh, we uh, go along with our values. We see to it that we don't sac uh, sacrifice our values for any of the marketing activities. And most of the time, well, what we are known for as CIMDR brand, what we are known for and we stand for is uh, honest efforts in academic excellence. As I said, we don't only, not only work on academics, but we work on overall development of our students. Now, you won't believe that when students, when we admit our students into first year, they are very raw. They uh, cannot even express themselves in their mother tongue. That is their condition. But uh, throughout their entire journey of this course. Uh, we uh, uh, work very hard on them on different uh, aspects and we see to it that we uh, manifest their strengths rather than putting into a very uniform training format. Each student is unique and they need a unique treatment. And that is our, what I feel is teacher-student bond and their development and mentorship is what we consider is our unique uh, feature. So we are a unit uh, standing for 34, 36 years uh, into a management field is one unique aspect. Our placements, we have excellent placements. Uh, we have experienced staff. And as I said, a culture, uh, a culture where we, wherein we groom our students and uh, their parents and all the stakeholders can clearly see the difference in their uh, personality after two years of uh, course duration. Great, great ma'am, great. Uh, my, my next question to you is that how does the curriculum of the college ensure the best practice of the industry? Uh, very nice question, Big Vijay. Uh, Shivaji University uh, has uh, introduced various uh, new uh, electives uh, in past couple of years, which includes business analytics, it includes entrepreneurship development, it includes family business management. So a part of the conventional uh, subjects such as marketing, finance uh, and HR, we have added a few more subjects to that. And this, uh, these subjects are added in order to address to changing industrial requirement. Not only that, uh, we see to it that uh, during uh, framing the curriculum, uh, we include uh, into the committee members from representatives from industry, 
representative alumni representatives and as well as student representatives so this gives a holistic uh, approach in uh, syllabus or curriculum designing and uh, i can very proudly say that uh, our curriculum is at par with the industry so as i was saying that uh, we see to it that we include representatives from industry for uh, designing our syllabus and uh, also addition of uh, various subjects and with this subjects we have not only theoretical uh, subjects but we include practical that uh, involve that is industry to institute can exist with the requirements okay ma'am okay great ma'am uh, so ma'am my next question to you is that what do you think your role and responsibilities to the college and the students are <laughs> my roles and responsibilities my roles and responsibility as teacher and one of the senior teachers would be that uh, to see to it that the management education of course we have good say into university we have good say into syllabus curriculum designing and all other academic activities uh, we certainly see to it that we have inclination towards research such inclination or continual development so we believe that development is possible only when you have a good quest for excellence so taking students through the journey of excellence that i would say is my basic core role right great ma'am great so can you mind we... if i have coffee yes ma'am do you mind if i drink coffee while you're doing not an issue ma'am you can you can you can you can uh so my next question to you is that uh, what do you think uh should be the college top priorities over the next 10 years priority of college in coming 10 years college is new education policy is going to change the entire uh, um what you could what you could say pedagogy in which the education is imparted and management education is no exception to it but what i understand is new education policy talks more about skill development and uh, maybe multi skill enhancement which is already been practiced in management education so i believe that uh, management is education in specific would be in a very good position in coming uh, a decade and of course general education system is going to see a sea change and if at all uh, institutes and teachers and students don't adapt to this uh, changes fast uh, they might really face problem because it is a going to be a altogether a different approach of the, uh, le- teaching learning of course there are certain challenges in implementation but i am sure that we will uh, really find outcome based education in coming uh, years wherein whatever fees to students are paying or maybe government is bearing the fees uh, we as a teacher or a, as an institute will be answerable to it and will be uh, giving a concrete outcome to whatever uh, inputs that we are giving so that is what i believe that institutes will have to take care that their education system essentially has to be outcome based great right ma'am right 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 so can we move to the next question ma'am yes yeah, yeah. Uh, what would you like people to know more about the college they may not know now of our institute yes ma'am okay <laughs> if you tell about our institute specifically uh, we as i said we are running this uh, course since uh, um, for past 36 years we are affiliated to shivaj university uh, affiliated to ai city and uh, we are nac accredited uh, shivaj university's mba program the speciality of it is that it has dual specialization so this we believe is the best uh, option available to students wherein they can specialize into say marketing finance hr and get a dual degree at a time 
so uh, their employability and opportunities uh, of course gets multiplied due to this and as far as our institute is concerned uh, as i said we uh, believe in various curricular and co-curricular activities uh, it, i am really very proud to say that since 1998 when uh, people in sangli were not aware about what trade fair concept is our students are been organizing that event as a one of their assignment of mega events of course later on uh, uh, every 5 to 6 years we keep on changing the format of these events uh, we organized job fair for almost 7 to 8 years where in students not only help to place themselves but students around in shivaj university so i believe that uh, student development is our uh, unique selling proposition right right great ma'am great so next question to you ma'am is that what do you see cimdr college greatest strength greatest strength is our team cimdr is actually on autopilot mode irrespective of uh, who leads it who is at the head who is supervising it um, we work as a team and we share value of student development so i feel that is our greatest strength which uh, is very rarely seen in institutions okay right right ma'am right so ma'am next question uh, what are some of the biggest challenges you see both for the higher education in general and for the college specifically um as i said implementation of new education policy wherein undergraduates would be or graduate uh, courses would be for four years and then maybe post graduation would be for only one year uh, and that too it has to be research based it has to be outcome based so that is going to be a real challenge for higher education in general and if you say specific to our institute then since these macro elements are going to affect our institute as well but we are already prepared for this new uh, upcoming changes mm-hmm. and we we are sure that as i said our team is our strength uh, we will uh, certainly adapt to the new changes right right yes great ma'am great So, ma'am, last question to you is that any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students? I what I see is uh, COVID has uh, introduced various challenges, but along with that, it has also brought in various opportunities. Uh, what you need to, as I said, that things have changed. Skill based. When you are talking about skill based, and companies are looking for uh, candidates who have multiple skills. and now acquiring skills through various platforms has become comparatively very easy information is available at your fingertip uh, so my advice to student is always that keep on enhancing your skills improving your knowledge base and uh, there is a world outside waiting for you uh, and uh, there is always for those who are um, employable there is never a dearth for employment so working on your skills i would say at present would be a key to your success right ma'am yes ma'am okay ma'am thank you so much ma'am so uh, this was an insightful session so everyone this was uh, dr swetha mehta ma'am assistant professor in charge of chintamani rao institute of management development and research cmdr sangli okay ma'am thank you so much Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, bye.